everyone welcome to my channel how are you all doing okay so today we have um, something you know to cook quick or you know so today we are cooking chicken satay um, chicken satay we're making it in curry um, so these are the ingredients that we have over here um, we'll be using um, chicken thighs for it because it's best used with chicken thighs so I've literally just cut chicken um, thighs over here into just literally like um, a little you know small cuts you know and then we've got mixed um, veggies here and we've got coconut milk here and also we've got um, two spoons of peanut butter tomatoes puree and then on here we've just got some like a little I intend to use um, chicken um, seasoning and curry powder instead of um, curry and um, you know you can use what sort of curry that you feel like you you know it's right for you but I'm using curry powder you can see it's two different ones because I've got one medium and one is actually really spicy and then I've got chicken seasoning over here and this one is um, pepper and pepper powder and also this one is paprika salt over there and garlic and ginger paste over there so literally I'm just gonna be using just this small amount of ingredients to use it to do um, okay let's get started okay so i've literally have let me just move all this i've literally have all the ingredients in here i've literally just add a little bit more curry because um i've got a lot of chicken <laughs> thing in there so i'm just gonna move this one because these these ones are like you know i think you can only mix that ones is in the stew or something so i'm just breaking the maggi cube um, as I'm adding two maggi cube in here and I'm going to just mix all these ingredients all together and um, once it's all mixed I'm just going to um, split them into two and put half of it on top of the chicken so on the chicken um, you can either um, so I've got the other half here I'm just gonna leave it on the side you can either season it like this and leave it in the fridge um, for a while, you know, for this the seasoning to right get into the chicken properly, you know, just to have it nicely. You can you can season it like this and leave it overnight, or probably leave it for a few hours. But I have to cook it fast today, so I'm just gonna like season it and leave it on the side. Um, okay so once this is nicely I'm, and I am afraid I'm using gloves because I've literally broken all all my nails just for you know doing some gardening and stuff so I don't want to um, I don't want to break them anymore so I'm use gloves for this okay so I think everything is nicely seasoned yeah so I'm just gonna leave this on the side and just concentrate on the pan just wash my hands okay so with um, the frying of the meat I'm just gonna be I've chopped one onions so I'm just gonna leave the onions to cook until just slightly to brown okay so now the onions are brown so we're just going to put a chicken in here so <laughs> try not to burn it as usual I'm just gonna pour the whole thing because it's gonna take long to pour it one at a time okay so I am making a lot so <laughs> now if you're making that much as I am then it's like a long process but if it's small then it can be done really quickly so I'm just gonna leave it on its own just for it to boil until the, the chicken actually look thingy then I'll start putting everything in So as I've got all the ingredients already in here, so I'm not going to put anything yet until it's all perfectly. Okay, so um, it's, the chicken has cooked for a bit. So what we are going to be putting in here is just a small amount of 
a small amount of the um, the tomato puree. So I'm just gonna put a small amount here. And I'm just gonna like slowly stir until that is gone down. And after that, just put the chicken um, um, seasoning in here. Okay, so you just mix that up too for that also to sink up in here. And what we're gonna be doing is ideally just to put the rest of the season in the stew um okay so now we've got all the ingredients in here um we are not going to um add anything else until we've added the um we're just going to be putting the um just the the peanut butter So on this point, I can see you can see that it's quite thick. It's quite thick, so I'm just gonna add just a warm, warm water, just a small amount of the warm water. Okay, so as as I said before, it's getting quite thick, so I'm just going to add just a small warm water in here. So I'm gonna let this cook for a few minutes, and then I can add the um, the coconut milk. Okay, so now the water has nicely sink into it, so that's fine. Um, everything is in here except the veggies and the um, the coconut milk. So I did thought to just put the veggies in the coconut milk first, but I'm just gonna put the veggies first and. Okay, so let's mix this up because we want the, uh, you know, the seasoning, the flavor going into the veggies. So I don't want to put the um, coconut first. I want that to, you know, go with all the veggies nicely <laughs> in there. Let me just put the rest of them in here. Okay, so now it's um everything is in here except the coconut i'm just gonna leave it for it to just just to cook with the veggie just for few you know not for long because you don't want the veggies getting all you know soft and stuff so we're going to leave it just to cook just for a bit and then we'll come back to it okay so um you can see that the veggies are not um fully cooked they're just like you know halfway so what we're going to be doing is putting um the coconut milk in here just going to be slowly mixing them up Okay, so now um, I'm just gonna leave it to cook for a bit while my rice is getting ready. So, um, <laughs> we'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so it's all done and I've literally just turned it off because um, I didn't want it burning or anything like that. So it's all perfectly done and <laughs> this is how I make this is how I make my chicken satay. Thank you guys and we'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I'm literally just going to put it all of it in a plate, um, in a bowl. Um, so um, I'll see you guys once I've got all of these in here. Okay, see you guys in a bit. Okay, so it's all done. Thank you guys. Hope you all enjoyed and like my recipe. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave comments however you like. Thank you and see ya.